Hello everybody. I'm trying to keep up with these videos, but it's difficult because I've never done it before. Just thought I'd do a quick video update about the social media detox I'm doing. Which, yeah, I suppose it's going alright. Um, I'm probably not getting as much work done as I wanted to. But, yes, definitely feel a lot better now that I'm not being consumed by social media as much and it, even though it does feel better it's still weird that I'm still uploading to social media and videos on YouTube which I've never done before so I mean um, I guess like coming off of social media I think is easy but when you when you combine coming off of social media with starting something new like a youtube channel and posting to youtube and then not going on youtube either because i'm kind of using i'm, I'm kind of categorizing youtube as a social network as well so yeah it's very strange and um actually it's it's quite difficult actually because it's it's very uncomfortable it's it's very new to me so um i think that i i think that i've ever if i've ever thought about doing a youtube channel before i've always pictured my, myself like you know uploading videos and then checking the videos out every day and just seeing how i'm progressing with this thing that's new and i mean there's so many youtubers that start youtube channels uh that they must be you know like the intention is to grow their their channel and i i mine isn't really that I, my intention isn't that at the moment i'm not i'm not thinking of this this channel as something long term like now i i think maybe one day um i could actively be creating YouTube content to grow it and grow a channel and at the moment that's not the intention the intention is to to come away from social media try and focus my day-to-day -day activities on my work and just being a bit more present um yeah that's basically it really so it's all very weird still it's been like nearly it's been six days, yeah, and it's still really sort of strange. <laughs> so anyway, quick update, that's done. Um, I thought I would just do this quick video of, of an update and then just go over some of these these multivitamins and nootropics that I've, uh, I ordered yesterday and they arrived today. Um, this is my Christmas present to me, uh, a bit sad, but anyway. This is a uh, note. I'm not going to go into like what they all do, but maybe I should. Maybe I should go into what they all do. Um, if you've never heard of nootropics before, I just sort of uh, they kind of help with like brain co cognition and help um, get you focused. I guess um, I've tried these before. This is Lion's Mane. And this one I've never tried. L-theanine, which works really well with caffeine, apparently. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna take these now, and then see what the effects are, and I'll update you. Um, oh, I'm also taking these with a multivitamin, which is a B complex with vitamin C, which I've taken this before. I take quite a lot of multivitamins and daily with like a flaxseed oil as well um but i'm also just combining that all the stuff i take usually with with these nootropic stuff as well which I've, i have taken these before but i haven't had any for a long time so yeah and i, I definitely think that they worked when i took them before i felt like they worked really well um keeping me productive and, and to be honest even if it's just like a placebo and it works and i don't care placebos work and placebos are powerful so even if these aren't actually doing <laughs> the things they intend on doing 
if I, my brain is saying, oh, then we need to make this work because this is what I believe it's going to do, then I'm happy to <laughs> carry on on taking them. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take them now and update you with the results in a bit. Bye. 2,000 years later. Hello, back again. So, it's been about two hours. Yeah, it's been about two hours since I took these nootropics. And... Yeah, I definitely feel different. Um, as soon as I took them, I realised quite soon that I wanted to get stuff done. It was almost like the desire to, to do things was m more powerful. I felt like I didn't maybe not necessarily felt um, more focused. Maybe I did feel a bit more focused. I, I think... I think more than feeling focused, I, I felt like motivated, I suppose. Um, so I actually got on with some stuff quite a bit without really sort of thinking about it. Um, and then it wasn't until about 35 minutes ago, um, which, which would have been um, about an hour and 20 minutes after I took them. There were, there's, so there's two two particular ones that have taken lion's mane and um this l tyrosine which is it's it's actually called n acetyl acetyl uh, acetyl um l tyrosine which which uh, is not for short so i've taken those before and i've i noticed before what it does is it can cause like the nerve endings to like tingle specifically because this this not one is is brain and nervous system health. It basically improves your nervous system so that your body. I don't know how or you know why it does that, um, but I've read up on it and I I, I sort of re I know why they do it, or I know that it's them that does it. Um, and then lion's mate is very similar. It's brain and nervous system health again, but with lion's mane, this one here, which is actually a mushroom. Um, that it kind of you get the tingling in your head and I don't know if, if you've ever taken um, a um, what's it called like a supplement for the gym a pre-workout shake that has malt in it so if you've ever taken uh, like those little drinks and you mix like the powder with, with water and you dr drink one of those like quarter of an hour before you do a workout if you feel like this weird tingling sensation in your body, that's that's L tyrosine that's doing that, and that's basically what this is. So, and it's quite a lot as well. It's it's three hundred and fifty milligrams, um, which I think is maybe about the same as maybe about the same as what you get in in them in the uh, pre workout shakes, or you might there might be more. I I don't remember. So anyway, about an hour and twenty minutes or so after taking them, I realized that I hadn't had that tingling sensation yet. And then about five minutes later, I realized that the tingling sensation wasn't, was there. It had kind of just sort of, I started to feel it minutes after I realized I wasn't having it. So I don't know if I was having it beforehand and I just wasn't aware of it. And then becoming aware of not having it made me aware of having it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, since then, which was about half an hour ago now, maybe about 40, 40 minutes ago, um, I've definitely feel this sensation and I feel really warm. Um, and I don't know whether that's this, I don't know if it's this doing it or, um, I'm usually quite a cold person. I feel my body, I feel the cold quite easily. Um, and quite often if I take like a multivitamin with a bunch of other stuff, I just start to get really, really hot. And I don't know if it's my body kind of burning up all the, everything I've taken or not. And I don't know, but it just seems that that's just what happens with me. So, and that's the case now anyway. So, so this tingling thing, thing is, it's nothing, it's not like, there's no danger or anything like that. It's just basically the nerve endings being more alive and, and lengthened I guess I, I don't know if that's the real terminology but that's just the way I think of it um and uh 
So yeah, I mean, other than that, other than the sensation, <clears throat> and um, other than feeling a bit more motivated to get some work done, um, I don't really feel that much different. And I suppose it is only about two hours later, so it might it might help a little bit more later. And I think the thing to 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 point out in, with these nootropics is they work better i think the longer you take them so like you know i can't just take them once and expect it to do wonders it's not and you're never going to get the same effects from nootropics or any type of pill that you can expect watching like limitless like the pill that he takes in limitless like the, that's the reason i that's like that's how i found out about these these nootropics because i googled this was years ago it's like five years ago i've been experimenting with nootropics for like five years and that's what I, I googled was something like um i don't know, like nzt or something i typed in like how can i buy nzt or does nzt work uh or like does it does nzt exist and this and i ended up just finding like loads of nootropic stuff so um i've been experimenting with loads um for quite a, for quite a while but they definitely don't like it's not going to make you smarter they're called smart drugs they they some of these websites they call them smart drugs but they're not going to make you smarter like it that's just stupid if you think it's going to make you smarter then don't take them because it's just ridiculous you're it, the the most it's going to do is kind of just clear like brain fog if you get up every day and you go into work and you're getting so like you've got like an office job or something and you're trying to focus on your work and you just feel like your brain isn't right like registering things very quick um like you feel like tired or sluggish then it might have some like improvements to the way your brain is is functioning and like i said before the longer you take them you have to be consistent the longer you take them the better they're going to work and I, I definitely believe that because when I've taken them in the past, I, after about two or three weeks, I'm like properly into my work. I'm not even thinking about anything else. I'm just like my focus in getting my work done is like proper, uh, very focused. So, and like I said before as well, I don't know if that's a placebo or not, but... Like, I don't, I don't care if it is just a placebo. Like, I, I think, I think the only way to know is obviously, um, other than looking online to see if there's been studies made with nootropics and placebos. Like, I could finish all these up, right? I could, I could use them all up, and then just put like fake pills in, like just the shells. Just buy some shells. You can buy these pill shell things, so that you can fill them with whatever you want yourself but just buy the shelves and then fill the bottle up with empty shelves and then just carry on taking them every single day and just see what happens and i think that's probably the only way i would ever know if, if there's a placebo doing the, the work or if it's the actual substance that i'm taking but like i said before either way i don't care because i definitely feel the benefits so yeah that's that's basically it in this video um if you want to, if, like, if you like this video, please like this video. And if you have taken nootropics before, then write a comment in the comments bit about which nootropics you've taken, because I'd like to experiment with like loads of different ones, um, more than I have done already. So if you've already experimented with ones and you've found some to be really effective, then I'd like to hear about those. Um, and um what else what else do i need to what how else do you end a, a youtube video because like i said before i i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing so yeah that's it i don't really there's not really much else i've got to say about nootropics at the moment like if basically if you like the video then i know that you it's it's like content that i can make in the future so That'd be great. Do that, please. That'll be awesome. 
Um, and also, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.